Hi guys, we're sitting at my computer desk here and I got a request from Tame Brown to have a look at the gearbox on one of these six in one solar project kits. Uh, this is one that I've had that I've used bits and pieces out of, but I think it's more or less complete. Certainly, I think that's the gearbox. Got instructions in there. Okay. And the motor. And the solar panel. And the gear. Put my glasses on so I can read the instructions. So first thing we got to do is push the gear onto the end of the motor. Tip them all out on the table here. That's the little gear. You'll notice it's got a bit of a ridge on one end of it. And looking at the picture, that ridge goes towards the motor. So we put it on the table and push the motor down onto it so it's in place. There needs to be a little gap between the end of the motor and that plastic gear. I think we can get it all the way on. Yep, yeah, get it all the way on and there's still the little gap there. So that's okay. I had a bit of plastic here somewhere. Which I've had on there in the past when I've been demonstrating this before. So that if we put a battery on there we should be able to see that spin round quite easily. So we know the motor works. Take that bit of plastic off again so we don't get confused. So that's the first bit. Next thing we need part A3, which is this piece. Get it the right way round. Motor's going to go down into there. And then those springy bits go up here. in there. You need to make sure that it's not jamming on the end there. Mine's okay. Showing the black wire on the right and red wire on the left. slot for the wire to go in. Yeah, that's better, I need a pointy stick so I can push that bit of wire out the way. I 
springing around a bit at the moment. Next thing we need is the axle with the gear on it. I'll just put that to one side. This one, we need the gear. Does it show us which way round that goes in the picture? in place. I'll push it on a little bit more. It doesn't seem to tell us how to push it on anymore. You want to be very careful you don't bend it. We also need these two pieces. A8, A9. That'll be that one there. I think they've got numbers on them on the... Yeah. A8 and A9. stuff there that I'm going to get a knife and clean that off. I need to push that through a bit further first. That's a handy bit of stuff that's got a hole in the middle. Yeah, I can push it through now. Now I can see what I'm trying to do. That goes onto there. I think that needs to go on even further. has got to line up with that gear in there and that's got to push out far enough. Yeah, I haven't got it on far enough yet, have I? as well. That's a bit rough around the edges. Still push that on a little bit further. Spring back on. Right. Now we need this piece to go on top. That spring keeps dropping out. 
That's annoying me. It should be sticking in that slot just there, but it's not. This is one of the cheaper kits, I think, and those bits aren't lining up very well, which might be what um, the problem is with the person who has the problem. doesn't line up as well as the kit I had originally. That's taking quite a bit of effort to get it to squeeze together. Right, well we're there. That was all that was asked, was how does the gearbox go together. I'll just use these bits of wire. To connect to it, and then put the battery on it again. gearbox together. I hope that helps. I must say I think this was a cheaper kit than the one I had originally because that just doesn't seem to line up as well as the one I did. But it's all there now. 